name is Jonathan Randazzo. I am trombonist with the North Carolina Symphony and the Boylan Bridge Brass. Um, you might have noticed I was playing uh, a Rochu etude, and I was working on my lyrical legato playing. And today I wanted to talk to you all about just that, legato playing, because I think that when you're first starting out on the instrument as a beginner, that's probably one of the most difficult things uh, to accomplish is, is a nice smooth legato tone. And I think that oftentimes the air is most neglected with younger students. Um, I know for myself, when I was first learning, that was probably the hardest thing for me, is to, was to get a very smooth sound um, when playing legato. And thinking back on it, I probably neglected to think about my air. So, before we go into the details of what we need to do with our tongue to play legato, um, I'd like to just talk about the airstream first, because I think you need to balance 50% air and 50% concentration on, on the tongue, and that balance will allow you to, to do it the right way. So, first, we need to make sure that we're keeping our airstream very, very solid um, and consistent through the instrument, so it's almost as if we're playing one note. So, and to practice that, um, we can do glissandos, okay? So, now if you can do that very consistently and making sure you have an even sound and even airstream throughout all of those notes, and you can do that several times in a row, then I think you're ready to add the tongue. Now this might at first be a little bit awkward for you to add the tongue on top of that glissando, but what you want to do is you want to, instead of saying the ta syllable, because if you can hear it, the t, t, that kind of gets a very angular type of articulation, and we want a little bit smoother articulation. So in order to do that, we have to say the syllable da, Okay, and the, what, the reason for that is that it arches the tongue in the back of the mouth and it makes the articulation happen closer to the back on the roof of the mouth. Um, and by doing that, the da syllable creates a much smoother sound. So the object is to keep the air going like you're playing one note, just like the glissando. Um, but now we're going to add the tongue so that we, we have this and it's very important, I keep stressing, to keep the air going the whole time. A lot of my students, um, I've noticed within younger players, when they're first starting out, is that they, um, they, they're, when they're, they're doing the da syllable, but they're not keeping the air consistent. So they get da, 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 and then it just ends up sounding like a regular you know, quarter note separated articulation. Um, so now we're going to combine those two exercises, and it should sound something like this. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, and it'll take some practice. It might take you about a week or so to, to really feel comfortable. Um, now that's a legato tongue slur. And there's also another kind of slur, which is called the natural slur. And the natural slur is very similar. It's, it's basically a lip slur. And hopefully, for those of you brass players watching this video, you have incorporated the lip slur as part of your daily routine and warm-up. Um, they're very, very important for developing flexibility, consistency, but that's for a whole other topic, maybe another video in the future. Um, but now the natural slur, you, you cannot do a natural slur when you're on the same partial. Otherwise, what happens is you get a glissando. Okay. For that, you obviously need to put a light legato tongue in there to get it smooth. Um, but when you're crossing partials, if I were to go from an F to a G, or let's say an F to a D above the staff, um, 
we actually, on the second note, we actually don't need to use the tongue to get a very smooth sound. And we just let the air help to guide us to that next note. Now, the important thing to remember, especially when we're making larger leaps, is even though on the second note we're not going to be saying a syllable with our tongue, we need to think about the syllable E, okay, so that we get this ta-e kind of effect. Um, and the reason for that, if you, if you notice, if you say E, it raises the tongue once again in the mouth. It, it makes the air channel smaller, which in other words, it speeds up the air. So it makes it easier for you to get to that top note. So let me demonstrate that. <laughs> thinking ta -e, ta -e. okay um, now you can do that going up to many different partials and so on um, now on the way down it's important to think the opposite of e so if we're going ta -e. now on the way back, what we actually have to think about is not e but ah, so that we open up our oral cavities and allow for a wider stream of air to go through the horn, um, and that will help to keep a very open sound in the low register. <laughs> be hard to tell with this uh, audio quality that I have but um, so for the natural slurs what you want to do is on um, when you're ascending think of tie and and push the air forward to get to that next note on the way down you're gonna still keep that same kind of air pressure but you're gonna think ta and think much more open and those are the basics of the two different kinds of slurring um, the legato tongue slur and the natural slur. Um, and the object is to try and get both of those to sound exactly the same so that you can switch back and forth. It, like, let's say if you're playing a scale, um, we'll take B flat major scale. <laughs> I had to use the legato tongue, and when I was crossing partials, I just used the air, and I rode the air to the next note, making a very smooth transition. Hopefully that came across on the recording, um, but those are the basics for playing legato on the trombone. Uh, feel free to, to post comments or questions, concerns that you might have. You can um, just do that right in the box below and hopefully uh, that will be useful for you. Um, if you already know how to slur on the trombone, maybe some of these exercises might help to further improve that. But um, this video was mostly directed at, at beginning students um, who are still working on their legato tongue um, for the very first time. So, um, on that note, I wish you all happy practicing, and thanks for listening.